Terry, tell us where we are. Stonehenge, somewhere in England or Ireland or something. Come on. I'll tell you where I'm going, to the toilet. So it's almost Easter, we've decided to come and see some friends at Nunna Glen near Copps Harbour. Uh, so we camped down at the, I don't know, equestrian centre or something like Polo Fields. It's a um, $15 a night, showers, power, toilets, all that kind of thing. So we're here for the four days of Easter, to try and escape the crowds and catch up with some really good friends. Uh, beautiful surroundings here. You can easily see why people want to come and live in the back hills of Coffs Harbour. Good enough for Russell Crowe, good enough for anyone else I guess. So we're just going for a wander to, uh, to our friend's house to catch up with them. We last did a trip with them five years ago to Fraser Island and we haven't actually seen them since. So it's going to be great to catch up and hopefully plan another trip with them. They've just bought a caravan, so that'll be nice to do a trip with them. Anyway, we've got a couple of kilometres of walk to do, so less chatting and more walking. This creek's just down from the campsite. The creek's surrounding Coffs Harbour have bass in them I'm hoping I can catch one it's been months since we've been anywhere that isn't flooded it's been really hard to get out for a fish because everything is flooded this creek only a few weeks ago was flooded right up past where Kaz is half the campground was underwater so it, it looks pretty good the water's fairly clear there and it's it's got a bit of flow to it, it looks like a trout stream almost, but uh, fingers crossed I can get down there and uh, catch bass. So last I was chatting we were in Nana Glen and I was considering going fishing in the creek there for some bass. Never made it fishing, we ended up leaving Nana Glen, we just relaxed there for a few days, um, caught up with our friends and then we left Nana Glen and we decided to head to Stanthorpe, Queensland to do some farm work. So we drove up there, we took one night, we stopped, can't remember where we stopped on the way to Stanthorpe, but we took an overnight, uh, Jennings, that's where we went to, so we stopped at Jennings, free camp, lovely spot, right on the border, and then uh, made the Stanthorpe, stayed at the showgrounds and did some, some fruit picking, it was a bit of a mixed experience, it was alright, um, first time at it I guess, so not knowing what to do, took a little bit to get used to. We did that and then it was time to leave there. So we headed back to New South Wales. Uh, had a bit more rain, stayed at deep water. We were gonna stay at deep water common. Uh, the road was closed, so we took a detour. Once we got in there, it wasn't really what we were hoping for, so we turned around, so that was a 50k detour of very rough road, um, all an experience, beautiful river there, just a subpar campsite. Um, come back down Gibraltar Ranges National Park and we're down at Lilydale at the moment which is amazing, it's on the Clarence River. There's still a fair bit of water coming down, it's not in flood but it's much higher than it normally would be. So we've come down here and we stay here for four or five nights before we catch up with friends over in Yamba. That's our camp, the other side of the river there. Just come for a bit of a wander to check it out. Only a few weeks ago all this was underwater. It was right up to the top of that bank. 
and it looks fantastic at your nails.